Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Access. Today is day number 26 of Daily December, also known as either Second Christmas Day for uh, my country, or I think Boxing Day. Um, so happy whatever uh, secondary Christmas day it is for you uh, day today. I hope you have a great time doing whatever you're doing, genuinely though, but I, I just don't know what to call it. Either way, today we're gonna be looking at a concept that I've seen people talk about. Well, not a concept, but more like a copium slash wish type of situation that people have been asking for, which is a MCC throwback type of event where people who have left the roster or are inactive came back from past events. Um, I pulled up this image, which is on the MCC uh, wiki, uh, which uh, shows the recurring roster, inactive roster, former roster, according to them, which is pretty accurate. Um, but uh, I, I, we, we don't know exactly for everyone what the situation is, but there's some people that are in the inactive roster section who haven't been active for a long time, people in the former roster section who uh, have not been active in a long, long time, uh, and then the recurring roster as well. Um, for me, uh, what I wanted to do with this MCC throwback idea is kind of um, place the roster back like two, maybe two and a half years ago. Um, back to like MCC, what that would have been like MCC 16. I don't, I don't actually know. Around that time, um, with some more, uh, some of the more recent active players taken out, and uh, to just give things a more of an OG feel. Disclaimer, by the way, I don't know what the stance on everyone's opinion on certain players is. Uh, I didn't include anyone that I knew had like publicly like uh, controversy because I know there's some MCC players in the past who had controversies, um, mainly. <laughs> As much as I don't want to get involved with the situation, I did not include Dream on this roster. I understand that he probably, to a lot of you, should be included. I did not include Dream, so just a heads up, he's not on this roster. Anyways, let's get into this. This is a roster that I think kind of represents a, a throwback event. It also includes people who didn't even play in a canon event, but only in the non-canons. Regardless, let me stop waffling. Uh, let's get into it. First team, uh, Crimson Krakens. It just makes the most sense. Look, as much as I am in agreement that uh, this team is fun, but we've seen it a lot now, uh, similarly to the Simmers, where I just don't particularly care. Like, I'm not like super excited when I see them back. Um, I do th still think it's a good team though, so not like not throwing shade at them at all. I just, you know, it's uh, the same team for the sixth time, so whatever. Um, but for a throwback event, the Crimson Krakens are one of the more notable teams. It makes sense for them to play again. So there you go. That's, that's the red team. Next up, orange team. Um, obviously Scott and Shelby would be included regardless of things. Same with Jordan. Um, Quig, it just makes sense to be on here. Uh, Quig is like the Reddit's favorite player who's not currently active. Um, maybe with exception for Fundy, I think Fundy's also a highly requested person who will also uh, occur on this, he will appear on this roster. Um, but Quig makes sense to be in here. Catherine as well is someone that I know people really enjoyed seeing in the event, uh, and she hasn't played since her first event back in Season 2, which was MCC 14 on like one of the most insane looking teams ever. Um, so hey, maybe, I don't know what the situation with Catherine is, I don't know what the, her reason for departing from MCC uh, is. But maybe, you know, for something like this, we could see your back. Next up, yellow team. A, uh, a relatively normal looking team with the exaction, uh, exaction? exception for Dan and Lizzie. Um, Dan to DM obviously uh, played, according to this, last played in Underdogs, um, but before then in MCC 14, which, hey, I couldn't believe that. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but maybe. Uh, and then Lizzie, according to this list, uh, actually is not on this list. Um, I don't know where, where is Lizzie? I can't find her. Anyways, Lizzie, um, also played in Underdogs, and I think before then, uh, she played in Scuffed too, and she's played in, I think, a Pride maybe at some point, maybe one of the earlier ones. Uh, either way, uh, Joel and, uh, Callum are obviously recurring players, very active, but they just make sense with the team, and they are people who have been in the MCC roster for a while, so this is just a good team all around works, in my opinion. Also, by the way, these teams are not like balanced as far as I'm aware, <laughs> at least I don't think so. Um, so we'll, we'll see if uh, how close to balanced they are, but they're not intended to be balanced. Anyways, next up, Lime team, uh, you got the pack with Pete. Um, obviously the pack uh, played again in MCC 34 or 35. Uh, according to this, it's 34. 
But before then, uh, the majority of them had not played in a long time. So I would still consider them like throwback players. Obviously the pack is a very OG YouTube group and Pete is very close to the pack, pretty much would be considered part of the pack, even though he's not actually, I think. Um, but Pete's also been someone who's been in the roster for a while. This team would just make a lot of sense. It's something that's highly requested. And uh, yeah, for an event like this, probably would be pretty pretty good. So hey, I, I would vouch for it. Next up, green team. Um, this is more a personal pick, okay? I really like this team. It's one of my favorite teams of all time. I don't know what, how it would work now. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know if these these people speak to uh, each other that much. Um, I know that Phil and Wilbur probably do, but I don't know about the rest. Either way, um, Phil, Harvey, George, and Wilbur. Very fun team. Very chaotic team. It was the MCC 12 winning team. Fantastic. It was so cool. Um, I'd love to see the running back if possible. And that's why I put them here. Next up is probably one of the more interesting teams. In terms of MCC, it won't make sense. But in terms of another event, it will. Uh, you got this team. Uh, it's the UC throwback team. It's Nestor, or Ex Nestorio, Calvin, Wisp, and Grazer10. Now, if you don't know why this team is, why, you know, what this team is about, I'm sorry, you probably just weren't around uh, in the OG days. This is a UHC team, okay? Probably, there's probably other ways you could do this. Originally, I had Harvey on here instead of Grazer um, because I, I thought like, oh, Calvin and Nestor and Harvey trio would be like a, a nod back to MC uh, or Microsoft Ultimate. You obviously know who would have been there instead of Harvey, uh, but it makes sense for Harvey to take that spot. Um, but regardless, Harvey works on the green team, so this is the other way of doing a UHC team. Um, I don't know if any of these people plan on returning to MCC ever. Calvin, I think, left because he was tired of the audience because he's not like a he wasn't like an MCYT like type of person. Um, Nestor was only in Rising. I don't know if he ever expressed interest in joining again. Wisp, I don't remember if he uh, planned to play again. And then Grazer, I think, played like one event and then dipped. So I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Aqua team is your Hermitcraft team of. Pretty much every single hermit who no longer plays the event. Um, you got H bomb uh, obviously with them, um, with Iscal who the community really wants to see back. But I've said this before: if he has expressed interest in joining back for so long, and he can actually ask to rejoin, why would he not have been added back? I don't know, but there's probably a pretty good reason why he's not in. Not saying, like, I genuinely have no idea why. This is just me using logic. So I genuinely have no idea what is up, but he's not playing. So I don't know. Rendog supposedly has expressed interest in joining back. Um, I don't know what the, like, system or, or, or what the, the, yeah, the, the process of getting back into the roster is like. Um, but I'm sure that he would be welcomed back in, uh, especially if MCC is in need of the like lower mid tier players. Rendog fits that pretty perfectly. And then I Jevin, I think only played like the first event ever. Um, I could be completely wrong, but I know that I Jevin was a player at some point and, um, and not anymore. Not sure what happened, but uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe we, we could see I Jevin at some point. He would make sense for a roster like this. Anyways, moving on, blue team. Um, you got uh, Fruit with the Sivers, but slightly different because instead of uh, Dr. Gluon, uh, yeah, shout out Dr. Gluon, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to give it a different spin. Uh, we put Stefo Sims on the team. Because um, I, if I remember correctly, Fruit posted a picture of him saying uh, with the Sivers and then Stefo Sims was in the picture. I think, maybe. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, it's a nod back to the Fruit Ninja type team. Obviously, with a necessary replacement, um, and it just adds another simmer uh, into the into the occasion that actually would make sense. So hey, there you go, and it's a throwback. So nice, good. Anyways, moving on, purple team. Um, now this is a throwback to Jingle Jam. These are all people who either are currently playing or have played in previous M MCC events. Um, with Harry joining from Rising Two, and also he was in Jingle Jam. But he, he joins in from Rising 2 uh, to make a very interesting looking team. I think this would be a pretty cool team. Not sure how much sense it actually makes. I, I don't know how much sense the RT game placement makes. Or maybe the Solidarity Gaming placement makes. But it looks interesting to me on paper. So there you go. And then finally, we have the pink team. 
Now, uh, <laughs> this one is a little interesting. Anyways, I just picked, like, uh, I had Charlie and Quackity, who were previously canon, uh, previously canon players. Um, I just put them as a duo because of QSMP. Uh, then I had Fundy because I know that if I make a video like this and don't include Fundy, people are going to be like, where's Fundy? There he is. Fundy's right there. And I thought it would be really funny if I just put JC the Castro on the team because he's he played at MCC before, which kind of is a little bit of a surprise. Like, didn't it's a interesting player to have played in MCC? But hey, JC the Castro on this team, he probably actually would fit a little bit. Anyways, um, below here is people that I tried including. Yes, I know Misty played very recently. I tried to put Misty with Fundy. It did. I couldn't figure it out. Um, so, anyways. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on a potential MCC throwback event, I guess, would be the title of this. Um, and let me know who you would want to see included. Um, from the from the people who are in this white tier who I would want to see included, um, probably Pokimane and, um, and Conrad's Pants. All right, cool. Thank you for watching. That's it. See you back uh, tomorrow. Goodbye.